If you're feeling panicked because you can't remove the key from the ignition, you're probably here for a solution. I know it's a very stressful situation because there's always a risk of damaging the key or the ignition, which can lead to even costly repairs. So before totally panicking, there are a few things to check to make sure they're not causing your key to remain stuck inside the ignition or preventing it from turning. The first thing you can do is to gently move the steering wheel while attempting to turn the key. Make sure that the transmission is in the park position and that the car battery is fully charged. If this one doesn't work, we'll share eight more detailed steps to help you extract a stuck key from your ignition. Tip number one, jiggle the ignition. To extract a stuck key from the ignition, use a two-handed approach. Use your left hand's index finger to apply pressure to the key cylinder while simultaneously jiggling the car key with your right hand. While doing so, make sure that your foot is on the brake pedal and repetitively jiggle the key from the off position to the ignition position. Repeat this process numerous times as it may cause the key to dislodge and come out unexpectedly. Tip number two, unlock the steering wheel. If you're facing difficulty removing the key from the ignition, the steering wheel lock may have engaged which prevents further movement of the ignition switch. To resolve this, try restarting the ignition while gently turning the steering wheel. As you attempt to remove the key again, wiggle the steering wheel back and forth to disengage the lock and facilitate key removal. Tip number three, the shifter in park position. To successfully remove the key from the ignition of an automatic vehicle, make sure that the shifter is in the park position. If the key is stuck due to a faulty shifter switch, the car may mistakenly believe the shifter is in another position. Press the brake pedal, try turning the ignition switch back one more turn, and jiggle the key while moving the shifter between the park and neutral positions to dislodge it. Tip number four, read the trouble codes. By using an OBD2 scanner to read trouble codes from various control units, you can learn the issues related to the shifter or ignition system that may be causing your key to get stuck. For instance, if there's a malfunction with the shifter switch or a blown fuse affecting the ignition system, it could prevent the key from turning or being removed properly. When you know these issues through trouble codes, you also have insights into what's causing the problem, which will allow you to address it more effectively. Tip number five, charge the car battery. When your key becomes stuck in the ignition, it's often due to a dead or weak car battery. To determine if low voltage is the reason, Try charging your car battery using a battery charger for a period. Low voltage can prevent the ignition lock from releasing the key. But if you're in a hurry and confident in your skills, you can also borrow jumper cables from another vehicle to jumpstart your car. Tip number six, check the safety switch and push key. In some Japanese and American cars, there's an additional lock switch within the ignition mechanism. Releasing the key requires pressing a button while inserting it, but make sure that you refer to your car's manual first to ensure you're executing the process correctly. In certain vehicles, removing the key means pressing and turning it simultaneously. Tip number seven, spray lubricant into the lock. If you have any spray lubricants on hand, try lubricating the lock. Often, a quick spray of oil into the ignition lock can resolve the issue especially if the key or lock is worn. While it may be challenging due to the key obstructing access, using a spray bottle with a narrow nozzle can make it possible to apply the lubricant effectively. Tip number eight, call a mechanic. When you've tried everything else and nothing seems to work, your best bet is to contact your local mechanic shop and have them inspect the issue. If the ignition lock is the main reason, it often needs to be replaced as it can fail over time. Additionally, in some cases, the immobilizer and ignition switch are integrated. So after replacement, reprogramming may be necessary to ensure everything functions properly. There you have it. Eight simple steps to try if your car key gets stuck in the ignition. Remember, the most important thing is to stay calm and avoid panicking, as this can worsen the issue even more. Follow these basic steps and you'll likely have your key out in no time. And if you find videos like this helpful, 
Make sure to like and subscribe so we can assist you. Fix it.